Hello, today we are going to reveal a very powerful shotgun launched with Revenant. It's a Tano shotgun named Phantasma. Let's look at the stat of the weapon. It has very low critical chance and critical multiplier, but has decent status chance. So we will build it for status build. Phantasma has two firing modes. For the primary firing mode, it will release a long white beam to attack the enemy. Although it doesn't look like shotgun, it is categorized as a shotgun. So you can use shotgun mod on Phantasma. For the secondary firing mode, it will launch a plasma bomb that detonates near the enemy. Let's test it against enemy 185. After you trigger the arcane primary merciless effect, this weapon can be a killing machine. For the secondary firing mode, it's not very impressive. I mostly just use the primary fire mode. So that's the secondary alternate fire mode. And then the primary one is the best firing mode for Phantasma. It can delete the enemy very fast. This already 185 enemy. And it has also a very good punch tool. So I can just stand here and kill the whole row of enemy. And delete them. So it's a very good weapon. Alright, now let's look at the Phantasma build. I'm using Corrosive and Hit for the element. I use Prime Charge Shell, 165% more electricity damage, and then pair it with Toxic Barrage, 60% Toxin and 60% plus status chance. And then I also put Shell Shock, Electricity and Status Chance and then Galvanize Savvy This one is for the 80% Status Chance and also plus 40% damage per status type affecting the target for 20 seconds and step up to 2 times So as you can see, there are 4 types of elemental damage on my Phantasma So 4 times 4 160 and times 2. That's why this build can be very powerful. The reason why I put another elemental damage on Phantasma is because I want to trigger more damage type for my Galvanize Savvy. Plus 40% damage per status type. So for your fourth damage type, you can choose Hit or Prime Chilling Gloves plus 165% cold damage but because I want it to have corrosive and heat that's why I put brace and then for the auxiliary slot I put galvanized acceleration for the bin lunge this is important so that you can hit further and then for the arcane I use primary merciless on kill, plus 30% damage for 4 seconds, step up to 12 times, and then plus 30% reload speed and also 100% more ammo maximum. So this is a must-have arcane for your favorite weapon. It's very powerful. That's the end of this video. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.